Hi everybody, today we are going to look at the two mobiles we have here. One is the Redmi Note 3, it's the golden variant that we have. And the other one is the Asus Zenfone Laser 2. This is the laser with this, which is very important or the distinguishing feature of this mobile. And this is the LED flash that we have. So this, these are two phones, both are 2GB RAM. The difference lies in the CPU. So Asus one, this one is a, this one has the Snapdragon 410 processor and this one, your Redmi Note 3 has the 650 processor against from Snapdragon. So it's uh, Qualcomm, both the mobiles have Qualcomm processor. This is a relatively newer variant or newer mobile in the market and this one is the older one. Both are good mobiles, I'll tell you what are uh, other fe features of these mobiles. Let's look at them one by one. So in Asus, what you get is a is an excellent camera. So this camera, along with the laser autofocus, this uh, laser invisible laser comes from this when you try to click any photo, and the autofocusing happens very fast. So the camera is superb. It's a 13 megapixel camera, but the results of the photos are fantastic. Especially very very good light conditions, you will get excellent photographs. So I am very happy with the camera of this mobile. This has been in use for around 10 months. One very good USB of this uh, operating system of Asus is the double tap feature. So if I double tap, this will become active and I can use the mobile. So this is one very good feature which I liked about Asus. If I look at the interface now, so I can go into the settings. So I go into the settings and then the UI is pretty good. I mean, I really like the UI and it has an app drawer also. So I'll show you that in a bit. So here it shows it is running on the latest Android version of 6.0 and the model number is Asus Z00LD. This is the laser model that's Asus Zenfone Laser 2. This one has 2 GB of RAM, 13 megapixel rear camera, 5 megapixel front camera. Then you have other features like Android 6 is running on it. Now Asus initially comes with a lot of bloatware. So when you start running this mobile you feel like 2GB RAM is not enough because then a uh, lot of bloatware will be there. You need to remove that. So after removing that, then you will start getting the performance or the best performance of this phone. So that is one aspect that you need to keep in mind. A very good a peculiar app that I would like to mention is the laser ruler. It's very good. If I like to measure any distance, it throws the laser light and then I can see how many, how many, uh, how many centimeters is that object from it. So if I, look at this mobile right right now it is at 8.7 centimeters that's the redmi note 3 so this app i really like so that's i wanted to show you that and uh, besides that we have the gps works fine there's no issue with the gps as such you have an auto start manager which is very good if you want uh, to start the apps that or you don't want to start the apps that you don't want so uh, I've allowed WhatsApp and Truecaller and all these apps to start automatically. Whereas the other apps I've kept as deny. They are not, they will not auto start. So that saves on the memory and also improves the performance. Look at the UI carefully. It has an app drawer. So I can sort the, sort by a smart group. I can, you know, if I do smart group, all the apps will be switched to a folder mode in which all the apps will be in their respective folders and then I can Health and fitness will have the health apps and Google will have Google apps and so on. So that's very good. So I'll press a cancel here so I can return. And the play store is accessible right from here. So all in all pretty good app. Uh, app brought you have a UI is good. Interface is good. Yes, the mobile will lag if you don't remove the bloatware. So that is important to do. If I look at the ram component i'll clear the ram from here and now once the ram is cleared then to show you okay 321 memory mba memory has been released so out of the 2 gb memory i have now 321 mb memory free so the ram management i didn't like much about this mobile but the looks and all the build is very good i mean if you are looking for a very strong mobile which will last you although it's all plastic but the quality is top notch it's premium uh, there's not much here. The, there's a charging port here. Look at the the rocker uh, volume rocker is here at the back so the, with the camera and all. And on the top you will get the 3.5 mm jack and the 
mic and the on off button that is the power switch button so pretty good solid mobile i mean i really like the build quality now let's look at the other that's the most famous mobile of xiaomi in indian market as of now if i look at the xiaomi the best uh, thing about this mobile would be the fingerprint scanner now in 10000 uh, bucks you can get a fingerprint scanner a decent 16 megapixel camera with a dual flash then you have a volume rocker here and you have the power on off button here and this thing is totally metal so if i look at the body it's completely metal the battery is non removable i cannot remove the battery if i uh, want to insert the sim i need a sim ejector tool it's a pin type of tool which comes with the box of this mobile so i insert the pin here this tray will come out and then i can put the dual sim or both the sims or i can have one sim and one memory card so this is a drawback of this mobile whereas in asus what i could do was i can i could put the memory card as well as both the sims but this you can't do in this mobile you can only have two sims or you can have one sim and the memory card if i look at the top there is a 3.5 mm jack then this is the infrared blaster okay infrared blaster is very useful if you like to use your mobile as a remote for operating tv or operating set top box or even your air conditioner it works with lot of devices so this is very good feature which is there in your redmi note 3 and for 10000 bucks it's a pretty i would say a killer budget mobile i mean you can definitely do a lot of things with this mobile uh, mi ui 8 is the la latest operating system from xiaomi and i have installed it but frankly speaking mi ui 8 is not everyone's cup of tea no one uh, everyone cannot be comfortable in it it will take some time to use to there's no app drawer so all the apps are sorted not alphabetically but they are randomly uh, assigned here and there which you can of course move if you want so that is there there's no lag at all in this mobile it is works beautifully it has a snap snapdragon 650 so for gaming this mobile is excellent i mean for gaming you cannot get a better mobile than this one the that one for gaming is not so good as compared to this mobile so asus uh, has a drawback of if you are a heavy gamer then this mobile will give you a better performance and a better frame rate than that mobile and the ram management is killer in this mobile if i look at the ram management if i go and see the apps right now so it says 487 uh mb is available out of 2 gb and if i press the cross button then i'll get 701 mb free out of the 2 gb which is very very good i never get that much memory free in the asus so for that reason this mobile works faster than that mobile if i look at the about button i'll go quickly into the settings and then i'll show you the what all i have in the phone if i look at the about phone yes this comes with a android version 5.1.1 although this uh, phone has sold in lakhs but uh, and it's just 4 5 months old but still xiaomi has not introduced the android 6 or the marshmallow for this phone so that is one drawback if you can see the clearly the model number it's showing as redmi note 3 then the latest version that i have is mi ui 8 and i have ram as 2 gb so this is all about the mobile it's it's very good build it's metal good to feel at it it yes you need to install a back cover otherwise you will feel it with very slip it slips out of your hands very easily so that is one thing you uh, need to take care about the other thing is that this metal thing with will with time you know it kind it might get a dent or you might have uh, some sort of scratches which will come on this so definitely you need to install a back cover or any sort of protection on the device the other thing is you definitely need a screen guard because this does not have any gorilla glass protection the gorilla glass protection is definitely there in the asus but this one has an unknown kind of protection it will it is scratch resistant but it's not as tough as the asus phone so if you are looking at a phone which has a very good build quality then asus is the one with a beautiful camera but if you're looking for a phone with the latest features like fingerprint scanner then infrared blaster and uh, more speed while gaming then i would recommend then you can go for redmi note 3 and redmi note 3 is definitely very good in running all sorts of games apps so and also it looks very beautiful this comes in three colors so there is one dark gray color which has a dark gray body here and a black front on the top and the other variant is the silver one when you get the silver back and the white front 
and this one is the golden variant which has golden on, on both the back and the front. If I look at Asus then this comes in three variants. This is the red variant that I have here. You also get it in gold. Uh, then you have the black, white. Gold is not available anymore so I think you will get black and white. This phone costs around 9000 bucks and that one is around 10,000 bucks. So you can take your pick. Both are good in their own respective arenas and I think Redmi Note 3 is available on flash a lot of times so you might not get this easily. This one is easily available. I'll leave the links to buy in the video description. Thank you for watching my comparison review. Have a nice day.